Hello everyone. All right, we're at another pitch meeting. This is for, I believe, the movie uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet, I, I believe. Let's find out. So, you have an animated movie for me. Yes, sir, I do. And it kind of takes the things having a secret life premise from Toy Story, but for like a new generation that doesn't play with toys anymore. Oh, so what's gonna have a secret life? What would the kids use more than toys these days? Oh, okay, I think I see where you're going with this. Yeah? Yeah, you wanna make an emoji movie? Oh my god, no. Yeah, as soon as I said it, it sounded like an awful idea. Nobody should ever do that. And I pray that they don't. That would be truly terrible. Yeah, no, this movie's called Wreck-It Ralph, and it's about the secret life of video game characters that live in an arcade. Oh, sweet. Kids are always at arcades these days. Yeah, not only are arcades all over the place, but they're always packed. It is a good time to own an arcade. So what happens in the movie? Well, the main character, Ralph, has been the bad guy in this video game called Fix-It Felix Jr. for 30 years. And his life kind of sucks when compared to the good guys, so he decides that he's sick of being a bad guy. Wait, he's been living that crappy life for 30 years? Why only do something about it now? It's the 30th anniversary of the game. Right, but he must have been feeling this way for a long time time. What makes this moment so special? This is when the movie starts. Gotcha. So anyway, to be a good guy, he needs to win a medal, so he decides to sneak into another game to do that. How are the games connected? Well, they're all plugged into the same surge protector, and if one of the machines gets unplugged, the characters in it die. Wait, so they've never once unplugged the game in 30 years? That's what we're going with. What if something that's not a video game gets plugged in? Like, what if the janitor plugs in his vacuum? Can they go in the vacuum? Oh, please don't think about the world building this much. Why not? Well, it's the kind of world building that it falls apart if you think about it, so it's best not to do that. Fair enough. Anyway, so we find out through Sonic the Hedgehog that if characters die outside their own game, they're dead for good. So Ralph goes into a safe little game to win a medal? No, he goes into the most dangerous, violent, murdery game in the whole arcade. Oh, he does? Yeah, and then at this point in the script, I actually ran out of video game jokes to make. Must have been hard to finish a script about video games without any video game jokes left. Actually, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, I just had Ralph head over to this game called Sugar Rush, so we start making candy puns instead of video game puns. Oh, abruptly switching your pun strategy is tight. Anyway, so Sugar Rush is this kind of racing game, and Ralph meets this character, Vanellope, who's not allowed to race because she's a glitch. Okay. And she steals Ralph's medal to sneak into the race, so if she doesn't win, he's not getting it back. Wow, this character sounds like a massive glitch. Yeah, it was a real glitch move on her part, but she's actually pretty nice. So what else should I know about Sugar Rush? Well, the place is run by this guy, King Candy. Oh, we should make him be like the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland. What do you mean? Like, we just straight up make him look and sound exactly like the Mad Hatter. Why Why would we do that, though? Why wouldn't we do that? But why would we? Listen, I just really like Alice in Wonderland, so this is something that's gonna happen, okay? But I don't understand. This is happening. Are you on board or not? Oh my god, I guess I'm on board. Great. Well, that got scary. So what else happens in the movie? Well, at the end, we're gonna find out that he's actually a bad guy named Turbo in disguise. And he snuck into the game when his game got unplugged. Then he completely recoded it to make Vanellope a glitch instead of the princess that she actually actually is. How does a video game character know how to recode an entire game? I don't know, but he also erases everyone's memories so they don't know that she's a princess. How does he know how to do that? Dude, I don't even know. Wow, this guy has such a convenient skill set. Anyway, so Vanellope ends up winning the race, which completely fixes and resets the game. Why would winning a video game do that? Because that's what I wrote. Fair enough. So then Ralph goes back to his original job, but everyone's happy now. So, so what's the message here exactly? I don't know. I guess it's kind of you should just accept your position in life, no matter or how crappy and just do your job with a smile and keep your mouth shut. That is an important lesson for kids to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you said that Sonic the Hedgehog is gonna be in this movie. Are there any other well-known characters? Yeah, I have a few, but to be honest, I tried to keep it to a minimum. How come? Well, it kind of just felt like a cheap gimmick to get people to come watch the movie. Oh yeah, that's not our style. We'd never do something like that. So you have a Wreck-It Ralph sequel script for me? Yeah. <sighs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, God. All right. So, I see now, no, it wasn't called Ralph Breaks the Internet. It, apparently, it's Wreck-It Ralph. I think I saw this first one uh, on TV, maybe. I know I didn't go to the movies to watch it. And... Eh, that's about all I can say about it was, eh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was all right. It was no Toy Story. <coughs> Excuse me.
Anyways. Uh, <coughs> All right, well, uh, this is going to be Pitch Meeting 2, apparently a sequel to Wreck-It Ralph. I don't know why I thought it was Ralph Breaks the Internet. Whatever. All right, let's uh, check it out. So, you have a Wreck-It Ralph sequel script for me? Yes, sir, I do. Oh, so what happens in Wreck-It Ralph 2? Well, actually, I thought we could call it Ralph Breaks the Internet. Feels like Ralph Wrecks the Internet would be more appropriate, you know, because of his name. Right, but breaking the Internet is a popular thing that people say online. Oh, is that a thing? When did that become popular? Oh, please don't look it up. Okay, it says here that the term was popularized when Kim Kardashian did a naked photo shoot. I mean, yes, that is when the phrase really hit the mainstream. Doesn't feel super appropriate to name our movie that. Don't you think it's time to reclaim that phrase, though? Aren't you tired of naked butts dictating every single thing you do? I'm pretty sure you're the only one that's struggling with that, but okay. I'm just sick of naked butts controlling my life, you know? Anyway, so what's going on with the characters? Are Ralph and Vanellope still close? Oh yeah, they get together after work every day and spend their entire nights together. Oh! Not like that. Oh. Yeah, no, they're friends and they hang out. Are Felix and Calhoun gonna be in it? People love those characters from the first movie. They sure are, sir. Amazing. Yeah, and they adopt 15 kids so you can imagine the kind of hilarious hijinks they're gonna get into. I can imagine it. And you'll have to because they're barely in the movie. Oh, so anyway, a player is gonna break the steering wheel on Vanellope's game and so the owner of the arcade wants to sell the whole game for parts. Well, that's not good. Yeah, he says there's a replacement part on eBay for 200 bucks, but the game doesn't even make that in a year. So Ralph and Vanellope are gonna go to the internet? They're gonna go to the internet. Wow. Yeah, so then they get there and it's like this whole big cityscape. Oh, that sounds super super similar to what they did in the Emoji movie. Right, it's gonna be pretty similar to that, but ours is gonna be like a thousand times better. How can you be sure? Well, first of all, the Emoji movie is the Emoji movie. That's a good point. And also, they could only reference random stuff like Candy Crush and Just Dance, but we can reference Disney properties. Oh, that's a really good point. Right? And obviously, by reference, you mean... Advertise. Right, just making sure. So we're gonna have ads for Star Wars, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Zootopia, Big Hero 6. That's incredible. And it's all gonna be easy easy to incorporate because we're gonna have Vanellope go to ohmydisney.com. It's like, oh my god, but Disney is God, as it should be. Yeah, and we're gonna have this amazing scene where she runs into all the Disney princesses. That sounds amazing. Yeah, when we put that in the trailer, it's gonna wreck the internet. It's really gonna be the highlight of the movie. But do you think it's a little sad that the highlight of this movie is a scene that's all about other movies? No. Well, okay then. Anyway, so Ralph and Vanellope are gonna run around the internet and encounter a bunch of ads for websites, too. Why would we put ads for websites in here? Because it's product placement. Those websites will pay you to be featured. Money for me? Money for you. So you're saying that not only is this movie a commercial for other Disney properties, but also for a bunch of websites that'll pay me to be featured? That's right, sir. I want this movie made right now. I don't even want to hear the rest of the story. Oh, I'd love to tell you, though. Okay, but make it fast. I want to start making this money. Okay, so Ralph and Vanellope need to make a bunch of money online to pay for the steering wheel, right? Right. So they follow this super sketchy pop-up bad guy and that ends up leading them to a game called Slaughter Race and Vanellope absolutely falls in love with it. Wow, and that's a great message for kids. What is? That clicking on sketchy pop-up ads might seem a little scary at first, but ultimately you'll always get what you're looking for. That's a good point, yeah. That's how I met my wife, actually. Oh yeah? Yeah, she was a hot single in my area just waiting to chat with me. Everything always works out with pop-up ads. And another thing we're gonna do is have Ralph become a viral video star and make like $30,000 in a couple of hours. Oh, that's good. That way we can show kids that becoming popular on YouTube takes little to no effort. It is super easy, sir. So what else happens in the movie? Well, we're pretty much gonna have them run around and encounter a bunch of jokes relating to the internet. I feel like it's kind of risky to reference internet trends, though. What do you mean? Well, internet trends are notorious for being quickly forgotten, so won't the movie feel dated pretty quickly? Well, we're only gonna reference timeless internet jokes. Like, for example, we have a reference to Chewbacca Mom? What was Chewbacca Mom again? I don't fully remember, to be honest. Well, okay then. We're also gonna have a thing where Twitter is represented by actual birds. Oh, that's literally a thing in the Emoji movie. Well, we're gonna do it too. Hey, we should have a scene where Ralph reads the comment section on his videos and gets really sad. Why would that make him sad, though? Aren't people, like, really mean in comment sections? No, I don't think so. Really? All I ever see people write in the comment section is the phrase, super easy, barely an inconvenience. Why would they write that? Yeah, I really don't know. Oh, I guess 
writing super easy, barely an inconvenience in the comments section is tight. I guess it is. So how does the movie end? Well, at the end of the movie, Vanellope is gonna stay in the internet and Ralph is gonna go back home. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, well, they're still gonna have like a web video chat once a week, so they're still good friends. Ralph is still able to use internet devices when he's not in the internet? Sure. That works. So what do you think? I like it a lot. I mean, there's some fun stuff, but also some sad stuff, so it looks like you hit that balance really well. Thanks, yeah, I really crafted this with people's emotions in mind, you know, so we can precisely plan when they'll feel happy and when they'll feel sad. Well, it's not like something in an animated kids movie can be unexpectedly sad. Alright, so, what have we learned? Apparently, the movie I saw was not the first movie, it was the second movie. <laughs> I just got done talking about it. I thought it was Ralph Breaks the Internet, and I thought that was the first movie. So obviously I never saw the first movie, and then what, what I did see, did not know it was a sequel. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I take back my review on the first one. Never seen it. I did see the second one. That I did. And again, eh, it was okay. But, um, that is so true. That's all it is, is advertisement, man. It's really no real story. It's unfortunate, but it's just the way it is. Well, I hope you guys got a chuckle out of it and got the inside jokes that, that he was referring to about, especially if you guys did see the movie, uh, you'll know, know about it. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day or night. Take care of yourself and the ones you love. Bye-bye. Thank you.